This is the iPega Bluetooth controller for iOS, Android as well as PC. It is the 9025 in its series. This is the box itself and overall it's a pretty good little box, good steady box, shows some decent pictures as well as just a basic bit of information. When opening the box you agree to the remote itself, a USB charger to obviously plug into either your computer or USB port to charge, as well as the instruction manual itself just to show how to use the pad and how to set it up. The charger itself, pretty basic, I'm not going to take it out of its packaging, I'll explain why later on in this review. And as well we've got the basic instruction manual. This controller cost me £15 and for what it is, it's well built. It comes with its A, B, X and Y buttons, as well as that on the bottom of the pad, there's the um, pause, play, skip um, and volume up and down buttons. You've got the D-pad as well as the two analogs, home button, um, start and select, the little holder that the phone goes in, L1, R1 as well as L2 and R2 at the back of the pad. Um, the pad's like a rubbery plastic material as well so it feels nice to hold. The L2 and R2 though are a bit uncomfortable on the hand but I can see if you're using this for longer periods you'd get used to it. The D-pad is pretty strong, um, the analogs are nice and smooth and they also both click in. As well you've got the socket at the bottom of the pad to charge it. There's different ways to connect this pad. For iOS if the basic connect is hold B and then hold home. The uh, button will flash for a few seconds until it connects. It's Y and home for the Android and for PC I think you've got to connect it manually. For iOS just go to settings and Bluetooth, turn it on and once it shows up at the bottom just click and connect and there you go. I'm using my 6 Plus again to record this footage but just for the demonstration I'm using my old iPhone 5C just to show you how it fits into the phone. And as you can see it does fit well, it does fit perfectly and it's not too much of a struggle to get it in. For those with bigger phones, the 6 Plus does fit pretty well. It is a struggle to get in, I'll be honest, but it fits well even with its case. For someone using iOS, do not buy this product. It works with about 2-3 to three games, if that, what I can find. One of them being Temple Run 2. Uh, I've got games there, such as my VR games, that have gamepad use and dead sticker, and once connected, nothing. I cannot get it to work. The only way you will get this to work is if you download em if you emulate it off your phone, which is something personally I do not want to do. So to me, the pad is useless. But for people with an Android and PC, it works well and pretty much, especially on Android, around 80% to 70% of the games. So if you're willing to buy it, you can't go wrong there. If you are going to buy this for the iPhone and iPad, do make sure you're buying it for emulating reasons. Otherwise, it's just not going to work at all and you're going to be disappointed in your pages. It says it works with iOS, which yeah, I suppose it does, but not how it's meant to be intended to. It's a nice pad and it's such a shame that I can't use it. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick review. Plenty more coming in the future.